Well, the pleasure was mine. Do come again. Seems to be even more than a kill.
This should be fun. I warned you. How is it going? Still working on it. you smell that? The fish? This is a pier, you know. I'm not talking about the fish. How can one love food and not appreciate the aroma of its raw ingredients? While I love a good steak. Well, do you care for trivia? Here's one I like. It is found in the savanna. Some called it desert rice. Can you guess? Let me guess. Termites? Exactly! Then you've tasted them? <laughs> uh, should have guessed you. I prefer conventional food. There is no such word here in the savanna. Termites are nutritious and tasty. And with the amount of water each contains, you'll never go thirsty eating them like a crunchy grape. A termite a day keeps Gazans hot away. They retain water? Oh yes. Termites build their mounds near sources of fresh water, carrying it back to their mounds. I usually find them near the acacia trees around the village. Good to know. Indeed. <clears throat> Thank you. 
<laughs> Excuse me, but would it be too impolite for me to ask you to leave? I apologize. Didn't mean to interrupt. I was simply curious. Curious? <laughs> no. I couldn't possibly dissuade a fellow naturalist from marveling at such fascinating creatures. I'm sorry. What creatures? Termites, of course. Quite magnificent creatures, really. For example, could you imagine being able to carry your own body weight? Without magic, of course. And that's just the beginning. I'm currently in the middle of an enthralling study investigating the water capacity of termite mounds. I'm... I'm sure it is. <laughs> I could go on for days. But I have work to do. You can stay if you like, but I really must concentrate on my research. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> well, I suppose I can always take time to compare notes with a fellow entomologist. Did you know that their mounds can reach up to five times the height of a human? That's nearly three orcs or twelve dwarves. And they can survive in nearly any condition. Even this drought. They extract water from the roots of the trees. Listen, I didn't really... Right, right, I understand. You've probably discovered all of this for yourself. But if you're interested, I brought several copies of my new book with me. <laughs> we can talk about it later if you like. Later sounds... fine. I'll need some time to reflect on everything you've said. Ah, oh, yes, you! I was hoping I'd have finished a bit more before you returned. I was hoping your book had some more information on how much water the termites are able to store in their nests. They aren't nests. They're mounds. I'm afraid I've overestimated you. Nonetheless, you'll learn that and more in my book. Only 25 horas. The proceeds support a great cause. Well, I'm willing to give it a read. <laughs> my first customer! How wonderful!
Do you have any news? I think I found your drinking water. Near the Acacia Forest and the Termite Mounds. Can't miss it. Are you serious? It's not exactly ideal. But your people have little choice. The tribe of Barnes was digging there in search of water. So I believe it's the right place. Excellent. I'll mark it on your map. Have your people dig here. Yes, I will send someone immediately. Now, you'll help Alima begin trading with them again? You know, it's not that simple. It's not my decision. What? Although I rule here, I still have to discuss each of my decisions with uh, someone before taking any action. With who? I can't say much here. If you want to know more, go to the lighthouse. That's all I can tell you now.
I'm glad to see you made it. I was beginning to think you weren't coming. You were expecting me? Yes. Altan told me everything. People are starving, and I don't have time for pointless discussions. Can the trading arrangements between Halion and Bayon be restored? No. Why? Who are you? Why is Alton so afraid of you? I work for the Mangano family, and my partners don't approve of your actions. People are dying. We have to do something. And we will, when Alima steps down. She is as lazy as she is stupid and cares little for the people of Bayon. She'd rather watch her people resort to eating horse meat than lead the rebuilding efforts on the damaged fishing boats. You want to take over the village? And save the people of Bayon from starvation and death. If you aid our efforts, you will be well paid and receive a writ of protection providing safe passage through the gate on the path to the desert. No. I'm not going to be your pawn in this game or playing with people's lives. This corrupt political struggle ends here. You will regret this decision. You might kill me, but the Mangano family will seek retribution for your actions here. Let's get this over with. Is that... blood on your hands? Sometimes her hands get dirty when solving other people's problems. You killed her. You killed Salen. Do you have any idea who she was? I did. That much she made very clear. But... but... the Mangano family... I'm more than happy to show the Mangano family the same courtesy I did Selen. Now... You will send the first delivery of food to Bayon today. With Salen dead, I suppose the decision is yours to make. Glad to hear it. There are a lot of people that need food and supplies, so I suggest you begin preparations now. As you wish. But remember to watch your back. The Mangano family is not likely to let this go unaccounted for. People can't stop talking about you. I guess word travels fast. The first merchants came to Bayon today. The entire village took up a collection in your honor. 300 auras. But I have a gift for you as well. Please. You don't owe me a thing. I insist. 
My husband was a tailor before he left in search of food for us. Sadly, he never returned. I'm sorry for your loss. Don't be. He died trying to save the ones he loved. That makes him just as much of a hero to me as you are to the people of Bayan. I still have some of his work. A collection of trousers designed for warriors, archers, and mages. I've never seen you fight, but I imagine a man like you could use some extra armor. I've always enjoyed archery. Then these will surely serve you well. Thank you so much for your help.